welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and we talk all things skincare. So today we're going to be talking about an experience that I recently had where I went to Sephora and got my first ever facial. So um, the thing that's very cool about Sephora is that when you actually get the facial, you're not only paying for the treatment, but you also get to take home products. So what that means is that I paid $75 in products and received a complimentary facial. So basically what this facial was all about is it started off with a specified peel for my skin type, then a mask, and then a hydrating oxygen infused facial. So it was a great experience because I've always held off with facials due to my very sensitive skin, but Sephora's products and their technique with the oxygen really opened me up and made me feel comfortable going and trying it out for the first time. So um, now I have some footage of the actual facial being done and the Sephora um, specialist that actually helped me out, the skin specialist, he was awesome at explaining all the steps to me. So you can see that in the video and if you're curious about any of the steps, I've linked the step number and what it actually entailed below. So I hope you enjoy. So as you can see here, it's before the facial. Um, my face is looking pretty good, just some redness, but that's mainly what I'd wanna correct. Here are some of the products that the skin specialist actually used. And let's get right so into it. Facial is what they are essentially. This is our version of it. They're really good for plumping the skin, hydration, calming out sensitivity, and really making sure that your skin is really well taken care of. Really great for acne prone skin too, just because pure oxygen destroys and cells and acne comes back to this. So it's really good if you want um, a treatment that's not irritating or that's going to make you turn red or sensitive. That's what a hydro facials are good for. They're also really good to get your fine lines or wrinkles and deep set lines and your preventative signs of aging as well. So making sure that you're diminishing lines or wrinkles, you're re-energizing the skin, you're the skin with pure oxygen, which is then gonna turn to make sure that whatever products you put on top will penetrate deeper and work faster for the skin. Cool. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pre -cleanse. The reason why a pre is super important is because it removes three things from the skin. It removes oil-based impurities like whiteheads, blackheads, oil-based pollution, but also removes makeup and it also removes sunscreen as well. It's called cleansing oil. Um, so this is the Cordoli one. It's enriched with rapeseed oil and sweet almond oil to help remove the makeup as well. But you always wanna do a double cleanse no matter what you're doing just because it'll remove everything at the bottom of the skin. Massage that first on dry skin. If you're wearing a full face of makeup, cleaning eye makeup too, um, take this on dry skin because the cleansing oil will actually break down the makeup and help pull all of the gonna sitting underneath the skin. Just because when you're taking a look at your skin, everything on the surface is all water-based. That's the reason why we see sweat coming out of our hair, um, because everything in the top level of the skin is all water-based, but everything underneath the skin is all oil or fat-based. You do this once a day, and it's a night time, because throughout the day you're wearing makeup, wearing sunscreen, you're producing oil. You're gonna make sure you account for all of the oil-based gunk underneath the skin, okay? okay. That's when after you will start cleaning the skin from the impurities. You want to emulsify twice to really make sure that you're activating the cleanser fully. It can work its full potential. After you activate it with water, Cleansing oil as well is really really like moisturizing dry skin mm -hmm. just because you're not using anything that's too stripping to remove um, impurities from the skin. You're actually nourishing and conditioning it while removing them away from the skin too. Massage up. So this is going to be your typical day and evening cleanser after you do a cleansing oil in the evening, okay? Mm -hmm. The reason why I really really enjoy and I think you're going to enjoy it too because A, it's going to balance out your skin level. It's not going to dry you out but also this smells very invigorating really refreshing as well. It's also going to remove light traces of makeup as well. Oh, just have the entire skincare department. Yeah. That's like a dream come true. Yeah. Literally. My mom always comes in and she's like, you basically have a mini Sephora. Yeah. <laughs> now do an exfoliating mask. So this is the quarterly glycol peel. Have you heard of chemical peels before? Yes. Cool. So what chemical peels, what they are essentially, is that they are 20% solution that you get done at a dermatologist's office or at a spa, okay? Mm -hmm. The main difference between like the ones you get at the store or like these one, these ones for example is that usually chemical peels for that 20% when you get them done professionally mm -hmm. 
But when you get when you purchase them, they're usually under 20% because that's the legal limit that Kale Canada will allow in a product. Mm -hmm. So this one has glycolic acid and an undisposed amount, but it's really nice at exfoliating the skin really deeply. Removing all of the excess dead skin cells that causes dullness. Really good for glowy, um, for that really nice glowy like glass skin too. And I find that it's not as irritating as some other peel masks just because it has a base of grapeseed oil to help condition and nourish the skin. There's also a little bit of glycerin and papaya enzymes to really eat away the dead skin. So it's super, super wonderful as like a creamy, hydrating mask all in one too as well. So if you're looking for a mask that's kind of like your do-it-all, this would be a really good option to look into. Bring a layer of oxygen first on top of the mask to allow the mask to dry down quicker, but to also to boost the power of the exfoliation in the mask. So what oxygen is really good for, like I said earlier, it's really good for plumping and hydration. But it also is a penetration enhancement. So it allows whatever we infuse with it to go deeper and work faster for the skin too. Later on, we are gonna do a serum in case with it as well, but we're gonna do an essence beforehand. We're gonna be doing the Amoy Pacific Vintage Extract Essence. Have you heard of that product before? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, really, really nice because there's a lot of catechins inside the form to help calm down and retexturize the skin too. Anything tea in skincare is brightening, is hydrating, is anti-aging, but also is anti-inflammatory. So for sensitivity, redness, any sort of irritation, green tea or any tea-based skin cover really, really nice just because it's going to help calm up the skin too, but give a lot of antioxidant protection to calm down the skin as well. And just like with any essence, what an essence essentially is, it's kind of like a hybrid between a toner and a serum. Mm -hmm. It will allow whatever you apply to go deeper into the skin, but it also preps your skin kind of like a sponge. It will hydrate you first and foremost, but depending on the nature of the essence, they have also other benefits. For example, the Amori one is brightening, it tackles on pigmentation, pore size, redness, and irritation as well. But I like wave water just because it The reason why it's cold too, it's because when you're cooling down the skin, you're calming its inflammatory responses too, but also you're triggering a lot of healthy blood flow. So with that healthy blood flow coming to the surface, just because when you're cold, the natural body responses to warm it back up. Mm -hmm. It will actually trigger you to be um, to carry fresh oxygen-rich blood cells to the surface of the skin too. But also make your skin go into recovery mode or rehab mode as well. So it speeds up the natural healing process as well. That's why a lot of cryotherapy. Have you ever have a cryotherapy? Yeah, yeah I love that. Those cold flash facials mm -hmm. are like submerging in like yeah. negative like 500 degrees in like air because it's really good for the body. It exhilarates the body, it exhilarates the skin, it brings blood flow, and just recirculates that oxygen. Um, because I went to a quarterly master class about a year and a half ago. And what they taught us that any of their quarterly spas, they actually like to mix in grape water as a base. We're going to infuse that to the skin conditioning. Because grape water is going to be hydrating and soothing. So any redness, irritation, sensitivity, it's really good for that too. You can actually use this guy as a toner as well. And um, just because I personally prefer toners that are more hydrating and plumping rather than volatile toners that remove from the skin. You know, because when you're double cleansing with an oil and then a cleanser, there should be enough to remove all the from the skin. The toner is really meant to balance out your pH, but also I like another layer of hydration every step of the way too. I'm going to be infusing a whole dropper of the Vino Perfect Serum. So the Vino Perfect Serum has a main ingredient called uh, vinifarine. And vinifarine comes from the grape sap. And what it is essentially, it is a complex that is 62 times more powerful than vitamin C as a brightening agent does well. I 
like to take a pearl size amount for pearl pearls. Open your eyes and look up. Massage it. You always want to apply eye cream to the bone first, just so you're concentrating most of the product there. Just because you take it to the eyelid, it's going to go up to your eyes and irritate you. So practicing on the bone first and then working upwards is your best way. Making sure you maximize your eye cream. Close your eyes. Just massaging your back because it is a 360 eye cream. Which one for really dry skin? This is um, one for combination skin. Okay, so since it is spring summertime, I don't want, um, you want it to feel a little bit more lighter. It has a sorbet texture where it feels watery almost. But there's shea butter in here to help moisturize the skin. Also, there's something called grapeseed polyphenol, which is an antioxidant that, that is 10,000 times more powerful than vitamin D itself from grapeseeds. Yeah. I'm also going to be mixing three droplets of the Ultra Repair Cannabis Sativa Dry Oil. The reason is because there's cannabis sativa oil in here that's really going to calm down the inflammation of the skin. Hemp skincare right now is a really big trend just because hemp is really, really well known for its omega acid property to oatmeal is actually what put first aid beauty in the market. The facial rolling helps relax the muscle too, but also will allow your products to really penetrate and work faster for your skin. It's really cooling and it smells so freaking incredible. Yeah. So this is my face directly after the facial. As you can see, it is radiant and glowing and overall I'm very impressed. My skin has never looked and felt so soft. As you can see, there's a lot less redness, which, which is exactly what I wanted from this facial. Thanks, Sephora. So it's been 48 hours since I got my Sephora Skin Fit Oxygenated Facial and I can honestly say I am so impressed and genuinely happy with the results. So as you can see, my skin is super glowy, my skin looks radiant, my skin looks plump. I'm not wearing any face makeup right now, so if you can see how it's radiating the light back to the camera. It looks amazing and it's more than I could have asked for. As far as breakouts, I haven't received any um, from the treatment so far. I feel like 48 hours is sort of a safe time for newer breakouts. So right off the bat, I haven't received any breakouts, but um, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated because this facial is supposed to be um, the results are supposed to last for 30 days, so if anything changes until then, I'll either update you on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me, or I'll make another video um, if it's drastic results or drastic changes that I experience um, explaining and detailing that. So I'd like to thank you all for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.